Hey guys, this is an absolute success. This Italian vining zucchini. Oh my God, I'm so, so pleased with it. Let's get a little bit closer and you can see Look at those little ones there. Hopefully they'll bloom out and pollinate. Look at how productive this could possibly be for you. I like how these point down so the pollen doesn't wash off. Look at this. If you'd like to see the full video, I've got one. Chinese string eggplant. These are sweet. They are productive. They're so cute. I know that's not really a selling point. They're prolific. If you want to see a video in this separately, I've got one. Sugar Baby Watermelon. Can you see this top one right here? Oh yeah. Right here. Another one for us right here, right here, two down here, oh, let's find them, beautiful, got another one starting right here, right behind this leaf, if you want to watch this video, I've got one, Hilda Romano Green Beans, Runner Green Beans, prolific. flat, abundant. If you want to see a video, I've got one. Sugar Cube Cantaloupe. Hand pollinated these. Cuga Culture container. On another container, I lazy susan this. Successful. You want to see a video on this? I've got one. And this one just started the other day. Look how gorgeous that striping is right there. These zines, they're gorgeous. These were originally four plants down here. I love all the different stages. I love that sherberty stage. And then over to the side, that one there almost looks like it could be a beautiful fluffy toadstool. Want more? I have a video on that. Jung's Bee Mix Wildflower Mix. Super easy. They bring in the pollinators. And I already have a video on that from last year. A full start to finish video. Guys, here's my little herb corner. It's in the shadiest part of the yard. You can see right there how the trees over here are affecting everything. But I've got some rosemary, oregano, onion chives, garlic chives. Love, love, love these. And some basil. Starting this lovely blue lake green bean double stacked tomato cage tower and I will pair it with this one right next to it. Because my gorgeous pink impatience in this old wheelbarrow. But are they not absolutely gorgeous? Alright guys, same thing over here. This spot gets a lot more sun and it goes up my driveway here. So this is how I wel welcome people back. That's in a Razorback wheelbarrow and you can see since it gets more sun, it's a little bit bigger here. Look at how gorgeous these hot pink flowers are. They seem to constantly be flowering. And you may think, well, mm, impatience, that's not very exciting, but they're very easy. I'm not deadheading anything ever. 
So if you want low maintenance, here you go, girls. Or guys, whatever. Okay, I had a very good lettuce crop. These are the only two lettuces that I did not eat. I decided to see if I could let this go to seed. Check out my Etsy shop, T-Shirt Garden Company, featuring gardening, no mow may, sewing, tiny house, zen meditation designs, link and box below. And it seems to be working for me. Where just this one is. I love when they first open because they have the most dramatic contrast of color. Especially this one. I mean, look at how hot, hot, deep pink that is and how washed out that looks. You guys, another huge success for me has been this General Lee Cucumber. And this is actually the second time that I've grown this. This was not a surprise to me. It's actually a staple. It's self-pollinating and it gives so many cucumbers. It's kind of like the only cucumber that you need. I have pulled off lots and lots of cucumbers with this. I love that it's self-pollinating. You can see we've got a new one here. And two much smaller ones back here. I will have a full video on this, so you know I'm not lying, but my god, the amount of cucumbers you can get off of this one is ridiculous. Just a quick video of a moment in time of this year's harvest I would like to share with you. No matter what video you're watching, that way, you pretty much know I can grow some stuff. So let's start over here. Some of the smaller sugar baby watermelons, other are out there still maturing. Green beans that I am saving the seeds for, which are right here. Hilda, I will have a video on this. Sunflowers, obviously I wanna keep the seeds for. saving these bachelor button seeds back here also saving these Thai green frog finger seeds video on that video on this and here is this gorgeous gorgeous but more more than that delicious watch this video all right, and Red of Florence, these torpedo-shaped scallions, super good. Sugar Cube Melon, look at how gorgeous and golden these are. They smell fantastic. If I just take my nose right here to the connection point, they are fabulously scented. This should be a shower gel right here. Black Crims, love them, absolute staple. Back here I've got some lettuce that I absolutely love and I like to use decorative paper in here. Look at all those seeds I've got in here. And also next to it, these are just the initial drying. And then when I give it a couple days, I'll put it into the jar where there's a little less airflow. And then I'll go back out and get myself some more, start the process all over again. Look at these zinnias and this cute little girl. And here's the cut flower zinnias that I decided to make a little somewhat of an arrangement from. And this super cute little kitty cat vase. Okay, and here is true chartreuse melon. This was so good, you guys. And I've got it labeled. I've also got uh, the original seeds. And I've got seeds from a couple years ago because like what Phoebe says, it's always good to back up your backup. So that's what I like to do with seeds. And I like to label the year so I know what's up.
these pumpkins look how cute these are i found a rotted out one of these pumpkins at the beauty salon i thought well i would like to have those seeds so i'm gonna go get those seeds and various tomatoes for my harvest yesterday this is the artesian mixed tomato i have a video on this they are so beautifully tie-dyed and they come in two different shapes a bumblebee and a teardrop. General Lee Cucumber, so prolific. I have a video on this as well. Video on this. Blue Beauty Tomatoes. Look at this gorgeous blue shoulders on these, you guys. So let's have a brief little overview. Look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So this always becomes my little seed saving area, August, September, when I bring in all of the um, harvest of the tomatoes that are green, the weather's turning, they're always lined up here. Uh, my own art, those are my grandma's from like the 1940s or 50s, love those. All right, the royal golden watermelon that I got from Baker's Creek. This was a fail, quite honestly. I would get little watermelons on here and they would yellow and blacken out on me a lot. The bees seem to love it, as you can see. But it is the middle of August. I'm in zone five and there's no way at this point I can grow a full size watermelon so close to September. The dog days of summer and all of the heat that it requires are over with. All right, you guys, I'm calling it August 13th, 1120, time of death. I'm done, I'm over it. I do not feel the need to accept the challenge to rustle a watermelon down to the ground and make sure that it grows where it may not want to grow. Done. Thank you so much for watching and I invite you again to subscribe as I have been gardening for over 40 years and have a lot to teach, show, grow, review, experiment with, and my favorite, a specific variety everything deep dive. So let's try new things together, mix it up, and have a glorious day.